Hey guys, this is Ramesh from C4E Tech. Today we have a list of 10 apps which we feel are worth your time. As always, we leave timestamps and download links in the description below. Without further ado, let's get started. The first app on this list is Real Music Player. As the name suggests, this is a music player. I personally use Double Twist for its wireless syncing, but the Real Music Player is a fair choice as well. It's a simplistic music player with a few tricks up its sleeve. There is a very minimalistic equalizer where you can either choose from a list of presets or tweak one of the existing presets to fit your needs. The fact that this music player lets you skin it is probably my favorite feature. There are a few wallpapers that come preloaded and you have the ability to set a picture from your gallery as a wallpaper. For those of you out there who would like to listen to music before you go to bed, there is the sleep timer here. Furthermore, you can switch tracks by shaking the phone if you so wish to. You also have the option to choose as to whether or not you want the fade in effect. So that's real music player for you. The next app on this list is Material Walls. This is a standard wallpaper app with an impressive collection of wallpapers inspired by Google's material design. Believe me when I tell you this, wallpapers of all color accents are present here. What impressed me most is the fact that this app is as simple as it gets. All you need to do is go into this app Scroll through the different wallpapers and choose the one you want and hit the set wallpaper button. And just like that, you have the wallpaper set. Now moving on, we have Droop. For those of you out there who coveted the people edge, the swipe and gesture of the S6 edge that gets you your favorite contacts, this app would be the closest alternate. In today's day and age, we have multiple ways of communicating with someone. Droop aims to simplify that for you. The Droop contacts can be triggered by a simple swipe of the dots here and immediately we get a bunch of contacts to the left and a series of actions to the right. All you have to do is drag the contact of choice and drop it onto the desired means of communication. It's also refreshing to see Droop is accessible from even the lock screen. Please note that you can configure the swipe dots to appear from either the left or the right edges of the phone. Next up we have Twilight. You know how all the popular studies say that the blue light emitted by our smartphone displays adversely affect our ability to sleep? Twilight, quite simply put, applies a blue light filter to your screen, thereby reducing strain on your eyes in low lit environments. Initially, it takes a little getting used to, seeing as there is a reddish tinge on your phone screen, but in the long run, you would get used to it. To start this, go into the app, click on the menu button, select one of the profiles, tap the play pause button and jump out of the app. That's it. It's simple to use and it's definitely helpful. To turn it off, simply launch the app and click on the pause button. Good stuff. Next up, we have the Wave Unlock. The reason I chose this app is that my Note 4, which I use as my primary phone, has a bump power button. I was putting off getting it fixed. I was looking for an alternate way to lock and unlock my phone. Hence, Wave Lock finds itself on this list. It's a fairly simple app with just two basic functions. Cover the sensors up top, for about 2 seconds to turn off the screen and lock the phone. Wave to turn it back on. Now jumping into the app settings, we have options to tweak the sensitivity of the sensors and change the duration for which to cover the sensors. Please note that if this value is set too low, your screen will lock every time you attempt to pull down the notification shade. So that's Wave Unlock for you. The sixth app on this list is Hangar. This was suggested by one of you guys as an alternate to the bar launcher from my last video. So I decided to give this a try. Hanger, like the bar launcher, gives you the option to set app shortcuts on the notification drawer. This provides an alternate way to access all your frequently used apps and for all you guys out there who like a clean home screen, this is a must have. When you get into the app itself, we have options to pin apps based on the time spent on the respective apps. That is, the longer you use an app, the closer it gets to the leftmost position. Along with that, we have options to sort alphabetically and in terms of last open times. We then have options to get multiple pages of apps to show up. In my opinion, it's a more elegant solution when compared to the bar launcher which creates a second row of icons. With that, we get to hooks. As the tagline suggests, hooks enables you to get notifications of all that you care about. There are a ton of categories to choose from ranging from movies to events to weather all the way to finance and music. The alerts are categorized into all, popular and suggested. Once you set up an alert, you then have an option to chat with others who have similar interests. This could come in very handy in certain situations. It follows in the same material design that is present in Lollipop. So that's hooks for you. The 8th app on this list is Anydo. This is not really a new app, Anydo has been around for a few years now. But with that being said, it is still a solid to-do list. It is simple and clean with design cues from material design. 
To add a task, click on the plus button, type in the task and hit that button again and you are done. When you are done with the task, simply strike it and that's that. Now to clear up all the completed tasks, simply shake your phone. All basic functions like adding a reminder, moving the tasks around by tapping and holding like with the icons on the home screen are all present and accounted for. The penultimate app on this list is Snapseed. This is another app that was suggested by you guys as an alternate to Pixlr. I have decided to give this a shot as well. This is a photo editor app that is quite comprehensive with all basics like tweaking the saturation, contrast, sharpness of a photo and in addition to that there are a few preset filters to choose from like the grainy filter, lens blur, black and white etc. There is also an option to add frames. There are quite a few types to choose from. All in all a very competent photo editor. With that we get to the last app on this list, FX File Explorer. This is a file explorer plain and simple but with a very clean and easy to understand layout and enhanced functionality. For instance, there is a split view wherein you could be in two separate folders at the same time. This largely aids in copy pasting a file or a folder from one place to another. For example, from the internal memory to the SD card and vice versa. Apart from that, we have the ability to zoom in or out to improve legibility. You can also theme the explorer to suit your needs. All basic functions like cut, copy, paste, move are present and accounted for. There are also a few root specific functions about this file manager but that's a story for another time. That's pretty much it. These are 10 apps we think would make your life easier. Do you use any of these apps already? Do you have a favorite app that's not been featured on our list? Let us know in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you feel we deserved it and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time this is Ramesh from C4E Tech. You guys have a stunning day.